Hello, I'm Madeleine from Sheen Sleeves and this is my review of the Moby Cloud Hybrid Carrier. So Moby are pretty well known for stretchy wraps and they've made a good few carriers over the year. They're a very long standing brand. This is one of their newest carriers and it's really quite different to anything else they've brought out before or anything else in the market. Um, it's a hybrid carrier and really it seems to be um, sort of between a stretchy wrap and a buckle carrier or even a half buckle carrier. So it has a waistband, it has these stretchy bits um, and then long, again stretchy ties. Um, it can look at, it looks a little bit like an octopus, it's a bit unclear at first where everything is going to go, um, but there are instructions that come with it. They are a little bit um, sort of picture, Ikea style, but let's give it a go. So we start by popping our head through this bit and there's like a panel that sits across your back, like so. And then a waistband that clips on wherever is comfortable for you on your true waist and it clips at the side um, and tightens up. The waistband is pretty firmly padded and sort of medium wide. And this at the side can be a little tricky to do up, but you can also sort of do it from the other side. I have to say, um, compared to the older Moby carriers, these buckles feel quite cheap and I um, have found as I've been trying to tighten them up that they do slip a little bit, but once you get them in the right place they generally hold firm and we have lots of webbing here so then this would go tighter if you were smaller than me but it also goes much 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 longer um, for if you were wider than me. Um, I should say for reference I'm about a UK 10 to 12, about a 10 on the top. 12 on the bottom. Um, and then the rest of the carrier can slide down and comes down like so. And the idea is we load baby into this bit <coughs> um, and then we will bring this panel up and tight and loop on the straps. Um, so oh, hang on, let me double check. That's right, yep. Yeah. So I'm going to start by grabbing my baby and popping them in. So I should say at this point the straps aren't secured at all. Um, so I need to keep my hand on baby at all times. Um, well, that's why I was checking their manual because it seemed a little bizarre not to have it at all secured. Um, and then this goes a lot like a stretchy wrap being spread out over baby's back and bum. As you, you might notice, this is um, sort of a very meshy material, so it feels like a sports tech. If I hold it up, it's um, see-through um, mesh. It's not the softest, nicest feeling. It does feel quite plasticky, um, but it isn't like unsoft. Or it isn't really scratchy, but it does feel quite synthetic. So I'm going to get that nice and tight, and then I'm going to take a grip of these. So I'm going to pull these down. Um, pull them down as low as I can get it and start to get a bit of a firmer grip on this part. And now I'm going to bring this up like so and plug these in to here if I can still reach them, which I am obviously struggling with. Not entirely certain my hands on this wrong. Um, so I'm going to tighten that up, and again, get that and tighten that up. Ah. Again, tighten the other one. I twisted that one, but never mind. Um, I'm going to, yep, so now I've tightened those up, that's starting to feel a little bit more secure. And now I can bring these straps, and they go into these loops along here and then this one goes into this loop along here and now I can tighten and pull along there and tie behind me or come back round if I've got enough length and tie in front. I've got a tiny bit of length I think a lot of people would need to tie behind them and then I am done. Um, 
So I felt like I spent a really long time holding my baby before I got to the point where there was a knot and I felt, and I felt secure. I'm quite glad that my doll is made of plastic and not wiggling through that. Certainly if that was the first time I was doing that, I think that would have been really very, very, very difficult for me and I probably would have got discouraged and given up with a wiggly baby to be quite honest. Um, also now I'm here, there's this material and frankly it is threatening to cover my baby's face. Um, there isn't really a good way to get rid of it. Um, all of the tightness comes from here and from um, from pulling this back panel, but this these um, cloud meshy bits are really loose on me. Um, I guess that's to give a lot of space for different sized bodies, but it means there's loads of um, fabric flapping. I don't like fabric flapping because that gives fabric to cover baby space and um, impinge on airways. Consequently, I really don't like this carrier. Also in terms of neck support, I'm using quite a small doll. This outer part is probably the only thing on this carrier that feels solid and it's not really coming up high enough. I could tuck my baby's head, but if my baby doesn't like that, I don't have a lot of other choices. Um, consequently, I really don't think I could recommend this carrier to anyone. We have quite a fixed, we also have quite a thick seat. Um, actually, it looks fine on my six week doll. It might seem pretty wide on a very newborn, and I don't think it would continue being supportive on an older baby. Um, there's not really a lot to recommend this carrier. It's faffy. Um, it's a bit needlessly, lots of bits and pieces. You can use it this way, you can apparently use it outwards, but I think it's gonna be even more difficult to put on outwards. Um, honestly, I would give this a total skip. I think this is um, a bit of a misguided step by Mobile, actually. Um, if you have one of these or you've tried one of these, um, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if you were thinking about getting one or you have any questions, please let me know. Or if you want recommendations for something I do think would be a bit easier to use or a bit more supportive, um, please do get in touch. All the best. Bye.